Hi, welcome back to Alpha Wisdom. This is number seven, 174. I'm Mystic Cassandria, and uh, this is Palmistry. So we're continuing with our discussion of health problems in the nail, and we're covering the remaining ones I have prepared for you. So let's get started. Okay, what you're looking at is a photo of discolored nails, this one here. Okay, I hope you can see that fairly clear. All right, I'll go with just in case. All right, before we look at these discolored nails, there is another one. I don't have an example, but I'll tell you about it. It is uh, the fingernails have a tiny pinprick like indication, like tiny pinpricks. And that's systematic of long standing skin diseases. So if you have something that looks like that or questionable, it's good to look into it. Skin disease. You may be aware that you have something with the skin, at least around the hand area or near the nail, then perhaps it's that. Unless I could see it, I can't tell you that. But that's the description. Okay? Now let's go on. We take a look at this one. And it starts right here on your sheet. Okay? Deep red nails. They're not the color red, but they're reddish. Okay? Sometimes it's a little redder than that. And this indicates a possibility now, possibility of high blood pressure. Okay? So if you have that, and you notice it's on all the fingers, that's what makes it a problem. Okay? Now the opposite of that, if the fingernails appear to be purple, it may be a lavenderish color closer, but if there is a change toward from normalcy and it's in the purple category, that's the opposite of high blood pressure. That's a possibility of low blood pressure. We should be checking our blood pressure regularly. And uh, if you do have an issue that you know you have, you might take a look at your nails and see if this might apply to your situation. Okay? So we're moving on. Before we look at this, I want to talk about the moons. Because lack of moons... Let me put this out. Lack of moons is very common. If you don't have moons on your fingernails, don't worry. Very common. And if you do have one, it's always on the thumb. It shows aerobic capacity and circulation are not optional. In fact, you're just an active person. You like staying in shape and so on. It's another sign of being healthy, all right? If you don't have that, doesn't mean you're not healthy, but that indicates healthy, okay? Now, here's the moon. It's the only photo I have available now. It's the lower part of the nail on the thumb. This is the thumb. Okay, so if you had questions about that, I hope that answers it. Okay, now we go on to this next one. This is our last one. This is a club thumb. And I've show, I'm showing you several examples. Close up may look like this. This is a strong case. First off, let's just get the meaning. What's going on here? The fingertips right in here, swell like drumsticks and show severe advanced illness. Now this one is pretty severe because the color has changed. This is not the normal color of the nails. And it's probably of cardiovascular, something not going well with a cardiovascular system. So that's important. Be sure to check that out. Let's take a look at some of the other examples. Sometimes it looks like they look like this. And this is like 
The drumstick might be many drumstick. And here's another photo of it, okay? These are the clubs. This is not common. This is not normal. And here is another one. Notice the discoloration here. When things are not normal, the colors change. So the color could look like this. This is a pale, looks like a pale grayish white. Yeah, this is an issue. Okay, let's take a last, the last one. I'm just showing you examples. This is more extreme. Sometimes when it's like this, it may be called the spoon shape. That's the best, I guess, they can come up with uh, that connotation. But it's still a club. They call it clubbing, clubbing. Fingertips swell. All of this seems to swell up. Cardiovascular system. And it is a severe advanced illness. That's the important thing. And finally, at the bottom, take note of that. Most diseases have their roots in some way in stress conditions to avoid, adapt a slower pace of life, if that is possible. And that is true. If we can control the stress and anxiety, oh boy, we would be healthy human beings. We, really, we certainly would be healthier than we are now. Okay, and I'd like to end with mentioning something about tiredness and how you can avoid that. Because when you're tired, you're not getting enough rest. That could be an issue too. Tiredness and could be insomnia can have a number of practical causes, such as discomfort in beds, you need another mattress or something like that, caffeine too much, bad eating habits, or psychosomatic cases, causes such as anxiety, here we go again, stress, frustration, depression, overwork. And there are many signs that you can see, like for example, you check your phalanges, and if there are vertical lines on the phalanges, particularly on the lower one, then, then that's another sign of anxiety, stress, and lack of rest or lack of sleep. So that's very important. That kind of wraps up what we're talking about when we talk about health. All right, I hope this series of lessons has helped you, whether we're talking about the hand with the hand shapes or we're talking about the fingers. All are important, and it's just a reminder you need to take a closer look. And once you've done that, all is well. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and by all means, be happy. Love and light. Bye.